What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Grifflands. Once again, don't forget this episode is sponsored by Clay Entertainment, and there will be a link in the description to go to the Steam page to check this game out. Let's get back into it, you guys. We just ended our second day as Sal. We're absolutely killing it right now. What are our missions? Maiden has another special mission for you. Go do his dirty work. Mercenaries are available for hire. The outpost to buy some stuff. Hesh outpost activity available. We could, like, save the Hesh outpost to... Come back and get it, what was it, resolve? Restore 15 resolve when we like really, really need it. Or we could just keep sparring and upgrading our combat cards. We almost have every single thing upgraded. It's gonna be like one or two more combats and we'll be fully ready to go. So I'm tempted to just say, let's wait and get the resolve when we need it. 85 max health, by the way. Pretty proud about that. Pretty proud about that. All right, Naden, what do you got for me? Well, Naden, what? Extra legal shenanigans do you want me to get up to today? Don't know if I appreciate you making light of the work we do here, but as long as you get the job done, I guess you can't complain. You just complained though? I got two jobs. Pick one. Wounded animals. The spree used hit and run tactics to cripple an admiralty patrol. The survivors are stranded in the field and waiting for backup. Get there first and finish them off. Or prisoner exchange. The spree has captured a prisoner. The admiralty is willing to exchange prisoners. If you can get them to exchange to the exchange location in one piece. We get a graph from both. We get 269 for the prisoner exchange, plus we wanted to kill people. Sounds like a good thing to me. Admiralty took down one of my operations. Most of the people got out save one. I'd cut my losses, but that's the one that had important intel in their brain. Intel I still need. Bust him out of jail, all right. Relax, Salty. I'm like, that's a big ask. Got someone on the inside. An officer so deep in my pocket, they'll never worm their way out. Just roll up stinking like a hunter and pretend you've been hired to collect. Don't salute him. Naden doesn't seem like the salute kind of guy. Uh, did it say anything about a battle coming up? I didn't read it. I don't know. It doesn't sound like there would be because we could totally hire a mercenary. We're a little light on coin though. We spent a lot of it. Which, you know, you guys suggested in the comment section that I spend my, my money when I get it. It's important to upgrade and, and keep buying important things. Hold up there. You the hunter Naden mentioned? You got it. I'm here to meet with the uh, informant. Ha! Is that what we're calling him? More like a worm slithering to avoid the spade. Take him, hunter. But don't hesitate to lop off his head if he slithers too far. Spree bandit shoves Rudena towards you with a force that leaves him scowling. It's interesting to see a bunch of these people on the opposite side. Now they're my enemy. Remember when we were with Ulo last time and they were my friends? Naden and his goons made it plenty clear what you'd do to me if I didn't play nice. We're on the same page, Hunter. Just wish it brought me some fair treatment is all. He's gonna test me. Or he's gonna try to escape. Like something's gonna happen here. I can just feel it. Watch me get stopped. Traveler appears in the road ahead before you can be spotted. Rudana grabs your elbow and pulls you into the shade. I know her. That's brash. A seen her wanted poster. We could arrest her to help our cover. What? You are my prisoner and you're a, you work for the Admiralty. You want me to capture somebody while we're out and about. Brash will dislike me if I capture her. Yeah, no kidding. I'm, you know, I'm tempted to like get into just some extra battles, just, just to get into some extra battles. Upgrade my cards and stuff. I don't want to lose health for a final boss, but it's very early on. We could buy health back. Let's do it. Hell, let's do it. Sure, let's do it. Brash already dislikes me. See how much he liked me when you're dead. I really, really wish I had the ability to gain some counter right now, because that's a lot of damage coming in. Draw two cards, they cost zero. Counter cards? No. What do you guys have? Medic, when they heal, they also remove ne negative conditions. So once the smuggler Huji heals, it's gonna heal the bleed right off. I'm still thinking about doing an assault and trying to get this thing upgraded. The blade mouth beating. Apply two bleed. Go. That was a lot of bleed because we had this Zin's Razor at uh, more bleed per attack anyways. Let's also get some more bleed. And then a stab maybe on the drone. Cool. My cop is like so low health. I didn't think about the idea of my cop dying. Cop, Admiralty, whatever you want to call him. My clerk. If he dies, then the mission's off. We failed the mission. And I don't think Naden would like that. Apply for defense, remove a random debuff. This guy's debuffed. He's got a wound. I don't know if it removes his debuff or my debuff. 
Removed hits. Good. Boosted instincts. What do we got? Into defense. Increased by two for each card played, I guess. Kind of lame. Put a stab on that drone. Might as well work uh, the dock hand brash down. Who will be healed and will lose all bleed, which is unfortunate. Maybe we should focus on the little droney guy. Three temp power. We keep getting this following feint with the wild lunge, and it is just phenomenal. Who's attacking me? The drone is attacking me? I think I can kill you right now. I don't even need that defense, but yeah, look at this. Oh, it's a random enemy. Don't forget. You got the drone. <laughs> Improvise a card. What do you got for me? Gain one power. Power me up, baby. I got, what, three, four power? That's huge. Oh, now it's down to one power. Was that one card only a temp power thing? Three, oh, it's, it is three temporary power. This battle item, I didn't know that. I thought it was permanent for a second. 10 damage coming in, that's a lot. We don't have any block. Hopefully we can get block out of concentrate. We did get block, a little bit at least. Getting some extra counter would be probably pretty nice. Or we th could Thieves Instinct and see if we can get some more block. Spikes, gain one counter or regain defense, or gain two defense. That's just, yeah, yeah, discard this card. We're not gonna be able to discard it. Apply four defense if this card was improvised, also gain one evasion. That probably is the best thing right now. To block all the damage. I don't wanna take extra damage here. All right, let's keep it going. Taking a little bit of heat here. Three damage. More damage coming into me, some damage coming into my Urken Gherkin. Let's do a block. Maybe another block. Some counter. So close to taking out the Dock Hand Brash. She'll be ready next turn. I, however, have a ton of damage coming in. Gain the block. Improvise more block. Did not get it. I'm gonna apply Cripple though to decrease the damage. I'd like to upgrade Stab, but I think gaining Counter is better here. All right, taking a little bit more heat now. It's 3v1 though, we should be able to do this. Lunge him. Gouge him. Finish it. So much health on this guy. We'll be done after this turn, perfect. Finish it. We wanna capture him, so let's not kill him. But what are we gonna do with him? We're gonna bring him with us? What is this? This is like maybe an escape attempt from Clerk. What are we gonna turn him into the police? We're gonna bring him into the Admiralty camp and then R Rudana's gonna be like, help, I'm captured. We did not think this through. This is a bunch of combo cards, no thanks. Battle upgrade, this one. Three damage, a two bleed. One to two damage, a three bleed. I'll go three bleed. What the hell do you want with me anyway? I'm just minding my own business. You're under arrest, I, I guess. Just keep your clapper shut. You gag Brash. Okay, this is taking a weird turn. You better be right about this. Brash hates me now. The first time you take damage each fight, gain two wound. It's not good. Two wound means we take extra damage, but we do have a card that gets rid of debuffs. What are we doing with this prisoner? Get going, I guess. Bring him with. <laughs> what did I gain from that? Because we, now we have a a bad thing, a, a bane. All right, we're at the uh, the camp to trade prisoners. Halt there, officer. That's close enough with the stranger in tow. I'm a hunter. I've been hired to help escort a dangerous prisoner. My name is Rudena. We've been asked to escort Ash to questioning. Okay, it's not a prisoner exchange. We're just pretending that we're admiralty. That's what the whole cover was that that guy was saying. When we have another prisoner with us. Offer up Brash! Maybe swayed more easily if you hand over the prisoner. There we go. So that's what we gained. By the way, we found this riffraff in the road. I believe Brash is a wanted criminal. That's good news. Brash has been a real thorn in my boot. Hand over the prisoner. Okay, so now we have an easier time. Minus five resolve. That's what we get the bane for. For five off the max resolve. whoop dee lottie frickin doodly da Convince him. You just hand over Ash, we'll get out of your hair and be on our way. Pretty spicy start here. Do a little temp influence. Do a little build rapport. Attack and gain more influence. What do you have? When destroyed, receive 30 shells. She's in set planet evidence. Yep, all right, let's keep that up. Now, if we duplicate, we'll duplicate, hopefully, our influence argument. 
it didn't. It got the other one. You really screwed me over there. We probably could have been done with this whole thing had you done the right thing. All right, rapid fire. Still pretty good damage, but it could have been doubled. Just a shame. All right, there's the incepted planet evidence. Also has this 3-6 damage coming in. That's a lot of damage coming to the voice of the people. Here's my three damage boosted fire. Duplicity, we can do something twice. Thinking about duplicity block. We could also duplicity build rapport and gain influence and attack. I don't want to take the resolve damage, but we do have the ability to meditate. We have one extra action per turn because of a graft, right? Yep. Gain one action, all hostility cards deal 50% less damage. So let's do duplicity. Build Rapport, three damage boosted fire to kill that thing that's gonna attack us. There we go. Almost just finished it right there, wow. And then we do a Calm to add Composure. We will lose that, that's okay. I wanna get this thing upgraded. Sweet. Oh, it's over, it's done, Never mind. Because we duplicated that one thing that did the two damage. The one thing at that one place, Graft Upgrade, yeah. Whenever you gain influence, deal two damage. What is it now? Gain th three damage. Sounds amazing. We almost have this upgraded. All friendly arguments come into play with two bonus. Probably gonna be three bonus. Bruh. Negotiation card. Gain one influence. Evoke. An opponent's argument is removed or destroyed. Ipso facto just doesn't sound that good. Gain two influence without having to play it. Sounds kind of nice. I'm gonna say no to it. It's a little bit underwhelming. We're saying nothing. You must be sick of dealing with that scumbag, but you can't wait to get him off your jurisdiction. Out of your jurisdiction. You have no idea these spree reprobates Make every job hell. Reprobate? We did it. Just wish people didn't hate me. Baden looks up as you enter. I see you brought Ash in one piece. Good work. 269 shields. A graft reward. Do we have room for a graft? We have room for one battle graft. Attacks gain plus one to minimum damage up to their maximum damage. That's the one that we didn't take before. Whenever damage spills over, apply two composure to a random argument. Eh. One installed. Upgrade three random negotiation cards. Is there something I'm willing to give up for that? I really, really like everything that we have for our negotiation graphs. So I guess we'll just take this plus one minimum damage. Thanks for your help back there. I'll see you around, Grifter. Ash loves me, allied bandits have plus 10 health in battle. Great, that'll really come in handy, all those bandits that we, you know, partner up with. Now what? I'm done with you for the day. What do we got? Hey, we could train our pet, or we could gain this speed tonic. Nope, pet training. Treat your pet is what it's called. Mmm, girl, treat yourself. You arrive at a clearing in the woods that isn't too overgrown with wild brush, and the untrained urchin takes off to roll around in the grass. Eh, <laughs> cute. Play with him? What does that do? Restores 10 resolve and fully heals him. He's almost full health. Train with him. Increases his health and damage. Will also help you in negotiations once trained. Bruh. You put together an impromptu obstacle course from branches of dead trees leading to a dummy made from putrid mulch. Up and over, that's right. Load the ground now, real quiet. Now sick. Grr. He's upgraded and trained now. Yeah, buddy. 34 health is still Pretty pathetic, but better than nothing, I suppose. Couple missions here. Hiku is offering a reward for hunting down a thief. Battle and negotiation. 105 shells, and we get to remove a card. Or this super difficult friend or fanatic, Delina has offered you a reward to rescue Malawi from bandits. 125 shells, and we get a graft. I kind of feel like maybe going to get a graft slot first. Oh, I don't, I can't get to the night market because it's not night time makes sense. Still wouldn't mind replacing and, and getting a better battle graft, I guess? If we were to remove a card, what would we remove? Possibly this pathetic bleed card. What do we think? Go big or go home? Meat market. Don't stop me in the way. Unfortunate traveler. Whatever attacked him took the flesh but left the well. Gather up the loot or leave before anything sees you. Gather it up. Gather up what you can find. You have to study a little more closely when it's safe. Leave in a hurry, not wanting to push your luck. Got a bunch of shills. So meat market by the most expensive person. 250 shills for Merc. He's missing an eyeball. And then difficult quest, go. Having your own parish is the closest a common Deltrian can get to nobility. The rules are different in Haveria, but maybe nobody told Delina that. Do you seek me to be closer to Hesh, daughter? Rescue Malawi from bandits. You're a hunter, right? Do you do jobs for pay? Not all jobs, and only for certain amounts of pay. But I got, but you got the idea. My friend Malawi was on a mission to the more rugged parts of Murder Bay, but I haven't heard from him in days. He's a luminary trained in combat. It's hard to believe some miscreants managed to get the jump on him. But he's missing all this same. Will you look for him? Yep. I, I'm gonna get 125 shills for this, and I paid, what, 250 for the dude? Oh well. Be your path keep 
you to the shallows. Every time that song comes up. In the shallow, la 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 Intercept the convoy to free Malloway. Let's go. Give me a tough fight, I bet. He scuffled the bandits. He spot the telltale signs of a kidnapping and follow the trail. Hear voices and melt back into the bush like a stalking yote. To your surprise, you don't find a bandit camp, but rather the Admiralty with shoulders as stiff as their starched collars. <laughs> it's nothing personal, Luminari. I don't want to hurt you. Not least because that would really piss in Hesh's waters. You just have a point to make is all. The spree do this to travelers all the time, but the Annex can stop it. We'll take you. you choose your path, soldier. The cult will hear of this, whatever you do to me. Sorry to say, that's the idea, pal. They'll just think it's the spree who did it. Isn't quite what you expected, but a rescue mission is a rescue mission. Better go to it. Threaten first or take him by force? Let's do a little threaten. Opponent has plus 10 resolve under orders as Nifo will dislike me if I threaten her. I'm fine with that as long as you don't hate me. Maybe we can handle 60. It's a lot, but what the hash are you doing here? But to serve up some divine retribution. I have a lot of intimidate cards in step two intimidated. Hostility cards deal an additional plus one damage. I just, that's not good for me. I wish I didn't have them. Five damage coming into my dominance. That doesn't matter to me. Randomly gain five influence or four dominance. You just give me dominance every single time. I don't know why you do that. Temp influence, gain three influence, double my influence. Rapid fire. Look at it go, baby. 29 now. I'm gonna take two resolve, one resolve damage technically right now. 48 damage coming in from there. Why is it green? That means you're doing more damage. Oh, because of my vulnerability that I gave myself. Calling all favors again. I, that's nine damage coming in and four to eight here. I'm, I'm not exactly super cool with the, uh, with the vulnerability, but if it makes it go faster, and like I said, we can always pray to that one person to get more back later, I think. Composure that is, and influence. Gain influence, kill that thing, so that that's the 48 gone. Just have to worry about the nine here. Double my influence. But you know what? I forgot to use my pale evil eye, but that's okay. Apply four composure to all my arguments. Calm is just good. It's good. That thing's still gonna die, but we won't get any splash back. There's eight planet evidence here. That's pretty serious if they target it, which as Nitho has not. Not too much here that's helpful. Apply six composure to all my arguments. Go. Attack and draw a card. Temp influence, not that big of a deal, besides the two damage that we get for it. Lose one influence, deal three damage. All right, we're gonna, yeah, we're doing just fine. I was like, kind of worried about the fact that she had 60 uh, composure, but we handled this and are handling it. Nine damage coming into my influence. I don't have a way to spend it, but I can block it. And two influence. Let's insert some, a compliment for more influence. We're, it's almost done. One more attack. Improvise, can you improvise an attack? Yes, you can. That'll do it. Done, very nice. Upgrades, calling in all favors, double my influence, gain one influence and then double it, or double it and only gain two vulnerability instead of three vulnerability. Let's go with less vulnerability. One to three damage, also improvise a zero cost card from your discard pile. That could be pretty good. Or brainstorm draw cards. Card draw with four? Energy card draw could actually be something that would be really nice. On those turns where we don't have the appropriate card to combine with things, I think card draw is nice. At some point in time though, we have too many cards that card draw won't even save us. The tendrils of Hesh move in mysterious ways. Seems to me like you're about to get throttled by them. No, no, I'm not. I was against this idea in the first place. Luminari is all yours. I'm a good Heshian, I am. Admiralty, book it for the hills like the tentacles of Hesh. Oh, I thought we were still gonna fight them. You and Ty Luminari and help him find his footage. That's all I had to say? I don't expect rescue from someone who looked like you, Grifter. Sure, I didn't expect manners from a Luminari, so at least one of us knows where we stand. Super Let's go, Delina is waiting for you. Interesting, where's the battle? Something is gonna happen. We're gonna get jumped. Let's go. Didn't get jumped? Okay. Greetings once again. Well, here's your bro. Hesh's tendrils truly quiver where you walk. That's yikes. What about my payment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, okay, well, hopefully we get a good battle graft here. And three temp power on the third, sixth, and ninth turns. The first attack, each battle applies three wounds. That looks deadly. Attacking targets 
affected by bleed grant two defense. Well, that's just, it's rare. It's awesome. Sorry, bottom edge, you, you got booted, but that's way better. And Malawi loves me. Draw one extra card at the start of negotiation. Gift 200 shields to this bro and he gives me biofeedback. Status cards cost one less action in battle. Are we gonna get a whole lot of status cards? I think bosses give us a lot of status cards. So that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I don't see us spending too much money on grafts since we're full up. We might get a graft slot, maybe. I, I say we do it. That's, a, that's really, really expensive, but status cards could be run ending. That That's buffing up our battle, right? And that's our weakest spot. Highway robbery. Your friend Ash has found a juicy target or get adrenaline shot. Have two copies of Hasten. Gain one action. Let's rob a juicy target. We're going to be a bandit, right? Yes, Sal, you want work? Little birdie told me that a nice fat target's headed this way. Target doesn't look too rich, though. Despite what Ash said, she's nothing more than a bedraggled. Same time you step onto the path once you have heard where you want her. Hold it there, friend. Oh, what is it? Convince her to give me money or just straight up attack her. Convince her, man. I'm so good at this. Where are these uh, intimidate cards coming in? That's got to be from either the guy I hired or the Ash guy that we just partnered up with. I don't even want them, man. What do you have? When your damage spills over against GT's arguments, it targets your core argument instead. So it's just probably going to be constantly targeting my core. Well, we know what to do. Gain influence. Double that influence. That influence, though. And block everything coming in. You're not half as convincing as you think you are. <laughs> I don't have any block. He's gonna take out my stuff. What is this? Targets an opponent for 3-3 three, three damage. She's also intimidated. So if I attack it, the damage will spill over, which means it's actually gonna target my core argument. And I kind of want her to not target my core uh, argument right now. I'd actually be okay with you not doing that. So I ended up killing it anyways. Do seeds of doubt on you. Let's improvise a card. Apply five composure. Sure, I don't mind blocking. And then plead will be upgraded. Sounds nice. Dude, we are just crushing negotiation so unbelievably hard. This is good. Okay, but okay, wow. This is garbage. <laughs> this is nice. This is a nice play here. And then let's block all of our arguments like that. Give me my free damage thing. We're gonna end up accidentally killing her before I even get my... Oh, we have so many cards, man! Before I get my, uh, what is it? Boosted fire. Gain more influence. I'd like to upgrade calm. I like that. Brainstorm. Draw more cards. Boosted thing. We didn't get it! Unbelievable. Segway. Draw a card. Return the next card you play to your top of your hand. We're just like not even using that card. We just kind of forgot it existed. Duplicity. Build rapport. We have 18 influence right now. All right, we blocked everything too. You're so screwed. What is this? Deadline, when destroyed, your core argument gains 10 composure. That sounds wonderful. Temp influence. I got it. Hey, look at that. Double my influence. And then let's use our two damage rapid fire. Get it closer to being upgraded. Why? Well, I could even like maybe use this as well to try to get this thing upgraded on that. Duplicates one of your arguments at random. Pale, evil eye. This is just embarrassing for you, bud. Let's just try it. See if we can get our 37 doubled. No, we didn't double our 37, but that would have been insane. Okay, we're still doing four damage per, like, we got her on the first one. <laughs> What's 37 times four? That's how much damage we would have done. Man, oh man. Build rapport. What do you got for me? Start with it or gain three influence? I don't think we need to start with it. This is upgraded to not lose influence or do zero to five. I like the not losing influence one. So what do you say, helpful citizen fancy contributing to the cause? Because if not, Who's to say the mud won't swallow you up? That'd be a damn shame. I get it. I'm no fool. And that's been said. Take it. Be on my way. That was way easier than stabbing them in the eye. Take my fair share. Demand all of the loot. I could probably take a small share and he'd love me. It doesn't say that he'd love me though. He already loves me. Why would we split that 50-50 if I did all the work then? I guess he had the target. GT dislikes you. Buzz off. Continue working for Naden. We could stop by the shop, I suppose, and see what they got to sell. See if there are any graphs worth buying. Whenever you draw five or more cards in a single turn, gain one bait. Does that include my initial card draw? First card played every turn also damages an additional random enemy. Nah, I'm not seeing too much that I like here. I would like to add another slot, though, for a battle graph. 15 HP, we can handle that. Still have more than what we started with, HP-wise, I think. Get moving. Fish looks worried. 
but you'd be worried too if your bar was smoking. All right, fish. Some of the supplies I need to finish this up are contraband, apparently. Let's see where this is going. I don't know how to stop it from getting there. We've already done this mission. So let's head for the dock and get the stuff for her. I think we can convince this guard to come with us. Ask Vo for your help, to help me. Pay him 200 shills or convince him to do it for free. But we have Zeta, who hates me, also helping out. Yeah, we can convince. We can handle it, especially with all these people on our side. We still have our hired guard, so that's pretty cool. Don't believe what she says. Six damage coming into my dominance. Oh no. Let's try to get fancy with this. Return the next card I play to the top of my draw pile. Then use duplicity, since that's just strong. And then seeds of doubtum. Double seeds of doubt, and that'll be upgraded. Temp influence, temp influence. Free damage. Wonderful. Apply six composure to all my arguments. I think I'm fine with that dying the dominance. Get rid of it. Now what do you got? You got the thing that hides your intents? Well, we're definitely getting the uh, influence plays done here. Let's gain the influence, gain the influence, double all of my influence, and apply block to everything. Go, what are you hitting? And how hard? Five damage into my adorable Urken. Urken Urchin. 18 influence at the moment with our boosted fire. Ready to go. Gain some more temp influence. I don't even read what your ability was. I don't even care. Whenever you deal damage, they gain composure equal to resolve lost. Yeah, no one cares, bud. Let's improvise a card, see if we can't get more influence. I mean, it's, it's over, you guys. Let's just have some fun with it. Vulnerability, go. You're screwed. All resolve loss is increased by one. That means this is doing four damage. Let's draw an extra card for the fun of it. Hail evil light, there's my double damage. It's doing seven damage. Seven damage boosted fire on 20 influence. Eight damage. Oh my goodness, you guys. Could we be stronger? Graft upgrade available. Hmm. Negotiation upgrade first. Give me that three influence. Seeds of doubt, do three doubt. Craft upgrade. Friendly arguments come in with three bonus resolve. And a negotiation card. This duplicity is just strong. It's so strong. So like, let's just duplicity. I don't want to take any more cards from here on out though. We're so overloaded. All right, he's coming with. Can I have a drink with this guy? Provoke Zeta so I could just kill him. What is Zeta's bane? Allies have 10% less max health. It is kind of bad. I don't necessarily want to provoke him so I can kill him, though. Sounds like a lot of extra work right before a boss. To the docks we go. So we just did something. If I go back to the market, I'm assuming they have the same stuff for sale. Yeah, probably daily they have the same stuff. They don't, like, refresh it until the next night. Roll load, and load. Let's go. This is the one where the things, like, sprung up and attacked me last time. Let's talk our way through. They, I, I you know, I really like the idea of having the double deck. I just think that uh, the way that they punish you for getting into battles, they, they really put push negotiation so much harder than battle. And I, I feel like I wish there was some way that they could balance that a little bit. I'd like maybe the right way to do that would be to be more clear about what banes you get if people hate you. Uh, be more clear about, is anybody gonna care if I kill them? Being upfront about all that kind of stuff I think would help a lot. Influence, influence, more. Lamp is spread. Starting off with 13 influence down to 12. We incepted the planted evidence and we'll be attacking it. I think this will be over before we get there. Duplicity, double my influence. 48 influence. Yeah, we have a little bit. Like, yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's okay. Let's use this just to get it upgraded. Oh, uh, double damage. It came out. There we go. Four damage times 48. I'm so sorry. All right. We uh, got our way on the ship. We blah, 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 blah. What are you doing here, Grifter? Rudana, we know you. Put a side deal with Rudana to get a package. Offer to attack the Admiralty or convince Rudana to end the quarantine. 70 resolve? Oh no! I'm fine with cutting up a side deal. Grab the package and make a brick for it. Rudana's already corrupt. Cut a side deal. We could handle him at 70 resolve, most likely. Starting off with a rapid fire, interesting. But we don't have any influence yet. Pale evil eye, duplicity, subtlety? We should probably use our rapid fire just to get it upgraded. Sounds like a good deal to me. And then block the stuff coming in, nice. 
We need that influence coming in though. Or is our three damage? Rapid fire. Boosted rapport. Duplicity double. We better complete this, otherwise we're taking six damage to our resolve. Is this gonna be it? Boosted fire, go. Looks like we got it. We got it. Negotiation upgrades, calling in all favors. Do the two vulnerability again. Rapid fire, three damage. We got two three damage rapid fires now. Life is good. Had a long day saying no, just say yes to this one thing. You'll feel better, I promise. Ugh, you grifters had a lot of nerve. But if one package is all you want, it's easy enough to give a simple inspection. Typical exceptions abound when someone with power and influence walks through. I will negotiate the dirt off your face, Enid. Package is unusual, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, we're getting ambushed by something. Ah, oh, Crimson Drusk. We fought this, these two before and barely made it out. So I'm hoping it goes better this time. We'll see. Are they metallic and immune to bleed? They're not, but they have this life pact. Brings their partner back to life if they have died. Plus more health than we've ever seen in our entire life. Plus more damage than we've seen from anyone ever. Plus we got following faint. Next attack deals maximum damage with our wild lunge again. It's like we get it every time. Plus our max power, that's nice. Throwing a little concentrate in there with a boosted instinct that gives us what? Whenever you attack, gain one combo. We're not gonna be able to spend that. Ability, whenever you discard a card, gain one power until the end of turn or gain two defense, discard this card, gain two defense and two counter. I guess combo, and maybe we could uh, incept a combo card later. I mean, this is free, so whatever. No block though. Oh, we do have block, yeah, that's right. We have this one. Everyone's taking so much damage. My little uh, reserve fighter, he didn't make it out. Trained Urkin will replace the fallen comrade, whoever falls first. It's nice to see all of our friends. Should we take out the Crimson Dresk first? They're both very, 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 very dangerous. I, I don't have the ability to target anybody with this, so. Good work. Nice job. We blocked everything, too. Come on, guys. We need to put the hurt on them. These toxic fumes. These are status effects, and they cost one less now because of my social bane. Boon, rather. Which, where is that? First aid, nope, not that one. Where is it? So uh, status cards cost one last action in battle. I like how they list everything that affects you in the top. 10 damage coming into me. How do I block that? With this block card, of course. Draw two cards, they cost less. Let's do a, a double bleed on you. Let's do a gain three counter. I'd like more counter, but I'd also like to upgrade this stab. Nice. Look at us go, blocking everything and stuff. What do we just get? Cripple reduces my damage by 33%. Four damage coming into me, seven into the Thief Merc. Let's start improvising some cards here. Bloodbath, whenever you apply bleed, apply bleed to all other enemies. That's a no brainer. That's a no bleeder. Improvise another card. Gain one power. Four defense, two counter. Smart stuff. We're doing like really good right now. Bring it on, bosses. You got nothing. Their attacks are actually like really cool looking. I appreciate that. So this is free to play. I could just get rid of it, which is just super cool. Besides the fact that um, I just gave myself three wound by playing it. Guess I should have read it first. Lay on the hurt. Lay on the hurt. All right. This one's almost dead. Last time we killed them both in the same turn and it stopped them from doing the life pact. What we could do is just knock this guy out, let the other one bring him back and then knock him out again. And then we could just kill this ochre drusk or we could try to focus them both down equally and do the same thing that we did last time. Maybe we should try to focus them both down. But if we miss it, it's gonna be a big old waste of time. Take two damage if ignited by a volatile spark, take damage, damage expand root. Replenish. The two wounds came from the thin skin. The first time you take damage, each fight gain two wound. So I took the two damage from this. If I can get block first, which I totally can, let me block first and then toxic fumes. Insert some, some bleedy blues. Improvise a triple card, three wound card. All right, we're doing it. Next attack deals max damage with our wild lunge. It's 
like a guarantee almost. It ain't broke. Nice. These guys are getting pretty low. I don't want them to go away. Let's put some block on them. Voltal Spark. Uh, we didn't have any sparks because we spent them all. Like a genius would. Now we have some more toxic fumes coming up. Small amounts of damage coming in. Focus on the bleeds. Remember when we bleed them, it applies bleed to everyone. We're knocking them both down like very, very efficiently here. Although our Crimson Drusk at this point in time is going to die out potentially before we are able to stop the Ochre Drusk from reviving. Yeah, it's gonna die right now. Whose seven damage is that? Thief, come on. I didn't expect much from you, I guess. Let's take the damage there. Get the bleed on you. I'm just bleeding this guy even more. More bleed. I'm gonna stab. All right. How long is it gonna take you to revive your friend? This next turn, that might be what this little gear means. We could finish. We could finish this right here and right now. You have 27 total um, and 18 coming in from my friends already. We don't have enough cards. Oh, with six bleed damage, that'll help. Yeah, we, got, we did it. We did it again, baby. We did it again. Look at me go, man. Unreal. Unreal. That went way better than last time. Drusk core hits all enemies for seven to 12. It's pretty good. Negotiation card. Do we want another duplicity? Airtight. Whenever you play a diplomacy card, apply two composure to a random argument. We already have an airtight? No, I'm gonna say no to it. Is this normal for the Roloach? Never seen a Roloachian aberration quite like that. I was lucky you were here, Hunter. You can keep that parcel as payment. I'll turn a blind eye to its contents just this once. Dude, we just absolutely dominated today. I suppose we'll go spar with our bro, since we don't need the resolve. Spar with me, bruh. Upgrade ready on two cards. Total XP gained. I'm supposed to get five XP and I only got two because I think everything is just basically upgraded. <laughs> Concentration. Draw a card, it costs zero. Draw two cards. I like that a lot. Thieves instincts. Improvise, uncommon, or rare. Rare me again. Awesome. I think we should spend all of our money and add as many graph slots as possible. <laughs> can I even add another graph slot? How many graph slots can I have? That's five graph slots available. That's another one. All right, we'll save a little bit of money so that we can maybe buy a mercenary or something like that. But man, we are ready to go on any amount of graphs. Throw them at me. Those permanent upgrades, like I said, I think they're some of the most powerful things though. Zeta. I wanna get a drink with you so you don't hate me, Zeta. You fish the package, there we go. We're done here. Our, oh, see you around. I was gonna say, our dude's still with us. He's not anymore. When that cuts to the window like a glint of a knife. We're done. I don't think we could have done any better today. I'm not excited about the thin skin thing, but you know, everything else that we got. Barely got any cards. We just didn't need any. Awesome stuff. That's all the time that we have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Clay Entertainment, for sponsoring this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out the Steam page. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.